information, the first thing I would do is I would hit the power button and start tapping on F2 to enter the BIOS settings to adjust them to help fix this problem. So save yourself some money and watch my video instead of hiring a technician to come to your house. Because this is the exact thing we do on a call. All right, going into BIOS, Dell lists improper BIOS setting is the number one reason for boot problems. So as you see, I clicked on boot sequence. I made sure that my boot list option, if I'm using Windows 10, is on UEFI, and that Windows Boot Manager is listed first, either this or sometimes it'll be listed as your hard or drive or your solid state drive. As you can see, this is listed first. If it is not listed first, adjust your boot sequence so that it is. The next thing for Windows 10, uh, enable legacy option is off. Also, right here, the date and time, that's always a good thing to check, make sure that's accurate. Mine is. Next, for Windows 10, you would make sure that Secure Boot is enabled. Once you've done all these things, hit Apply and OK and save them. If they are not as follows, make sure you adjust that. The next thing, as you can see, I'm going to Security. Oh, sorry, this is the wrong one. Whoopsie. I'm going to System Configuration, SATA Operation. So these settings cause a lot of boot problems. AHCI needs to be set on if you don't have radon. If you have radon, it needs to be set on radon. So you would hit radon, apply. Now, if you aren't sure, try each setting, hit apply, save and exit, and if the boot problem goes away, you have the right setting. So switch between the two. Whichever one works is the right one for you, and it's that simple. Now, save and exit. Now let's review. This is a list of what your BIOS setting should be if you have Windows 10. Here's a list if you have Windows 8, and I'll show you a list of Windows 7. Now, keep in mind, you know how to adjust these settings. Just make sure to sync them up with these lists. Now, back to what we're doing. The next step I would do as a Dell trained technician is I hit power. I would tap on F12. All right, let's zoom in. Boom. And I would arrow down to diagnostics. And I would run a quick built-in scan. This is why you bought a Dell. You didn't realize it, but this is why. This built-in diagnostic is wonderful. It tells you everything that's wrong with your computer. So you would go through this whole thing. It takes about, depending on the computer, 7 to 15 minutes. But I'm going to skip to the end so we can see the results. Okay, now at the end it's going to tell you, do you want to continue with this super long memory test? I don't do it. It's not necessary. I hit no. Now, Oftentimes it'll give you an error. Mine all tests pass, but I'm going to go over, hit that arrow, and show you what it would look like if something failed. So, for example, if your hard drive failed, a big cause for boot problems. You installed your operating system, it put strain on your hard drive, and bam, any problems became evident. Or your memory is another reason why. It so if there's an X or an exclamation point next to one of these, you probably need to replace one. I know, super sad. My hard drive's dead. Oh, the worst. I know. But we have a video in the list in, down below that shows you how to replace a hard drive or a solid state drive. Also, we have a video on the screen being black that shows you how to go ahead and replace or upgrade these components. I know it's a pain in the butt to replace these if they die, but you could look at it as an opportunity to upgrade your computer to a nicer hard drive or a solid state drive or more memory. So it's not the worst case scenario. It's not the worst thing in the world. So check out our videos down below. The black screen one shows you how to do the memory and the hard drive and the solid state one are in the listing below. So that is what we would do if you had a boot problem. Thanks for watching. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos, go ahead and subscribe. Or if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll go ahead and get back to you. But anyway, thanks for watching. And from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.